Got a bit of a sore throat here, guys, today, but I do just want to say Coco Coin is still looking fantastic. Still roughly around that 47 million mark. We did actually get up to uh, nearly 48 million here yesterday. So that's fantastic considering we've got into this, uh, what, around 40 mil. Already pretty decent gains coming through. Okay, uh, that is reflected on their website as well. And uh, yeah, just a quick reminder, you can actually get uh, a bunch of rewards from referrals for this thing. I do think this thing goes up massively uh, towards the end of the month. And the reason for that is uh, based on blockchain week in Dubai, right? So we, we know that Binance is doing blockchain week blockchain week in Dubai uh, very, very soon. So uh, yeah, we should be uh, we should be kind of capitalizing on that and expecting this run up to continue at least to 15.8, something around here where this upper volume weighted ATR band is uh, just, uh, just before that event. And that is in the next week, all right? So just keep an eye out for that one. But overall, if we are looking at the TA here for this coin, we can see, yes, we had that airdrop dump. Uh, and what we've been saying this whole time is as long as we're kind of following this path upwards, it's absolutely fine. Okay, we can get volatile. It is a coin with less liquidity it's not something that's in the hundreds of millions of market cap yet anyway but uh yes it is something that is recovering very very nicely actually it's, it's looking pretty good and we got in roughly around here so overall looking pretty decent in terms of percentages right We've already made 15% here. I'm really targeting like a 4x more than anything here guys uh, but overall if we are looking at the TA, Let's just take a look at this, right? So we talked about potential breakout on this wedge structure. Yesterday, uh, we have actually pumped up. We've retested. Uh, and now today, if this does break this high, uh, then it's a very high chance that we do continue up for the foreseeable future. I don't think it will be just a straight candle though, guys. I think it will still continue this kind of volatile path that it's on. All right, up and down, up and down. But up more than down, right? So uh, that's something that's good. And it may even just trickle along with these volume weighted ATR bands just to, just to keep everything good and organic rather than uh, than just absolutely blasting it. And then there'll be some sell pressure come through uh, if we do blast it that quickly, right? Uh, just, just as it happened here, right? We had massive news coming through. And then, uh, yes, uh, obviously we had a massive pullback because we went up too fast. So it's actually healthier to go up in this kind of manner. And what we will say is, yes, we will be looking uh, for us to basically break out above this 1465 area okay and the reason why it's 1465 we could go from this high of course but uh, I'm I'm more looking at 1465 just based on the uh, the wick high that we had here okay there will be a lot of liquidity before this level so I will be expecting a bit of volatility coming through here but overall if we can break through over the next kind of uh, I would say even over the weekend this is fine because this is not uh, a major traded asset yet right so what we can say with this is uh, yeah it makes sense that it does stay volatile but as long as it's continuing this macro trend, uh, it's something that uh, is, is pretty decent, okay? Uh, we can go up to the daily here and just see, uh, yes, <laughs> a lot of green candles recently, okay? Treading along this trend line, as we can see, trying to reclaim it. And uh, it has got over pretty decent trend lines as well here. We actually are seeing on the, the daily a different trend line form here, uh, which could bring us to 14.51. Uh, and again, we're looking for that 14.6 area to break more than anything. So if we can uh, get above that area and this trend line, it's a great sign for this full recovery in which we just blast off from that point. Uh, and again, as you guys know, uh, with the uh, the more longer term stuff, we're really looking to get above this 18 area. If we can get above 18, then uh, it's basically the full V-shaped recovery and we go into price discovery from that point in which we can literally just bang it from there, okay? Uh, so a decent project. As you guys know, I have been pretty behind this project uh, for quite some time now. And uh, the reason for that is... It just looks good, guys. It just looks good. Uh, when I do find a pick like this, I know I can make 4x. All right, I think it's a very strong um, kind of a strong idea that I can make 4x or possibility. Then yes, uh, I am going to share that with you guys. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't want you guys to miss out either. So what we will say here is, yeah, if you do want to get in, cool. If not, absolutely fine. But uh, the short story is, it's going pretty well so far. Okay, and uh, if we can get over these certain levels, then uh, yes, I imagine. It, it could get seriously, seriously parabolic towards the future, particularly with uh, the rest of crypto banging it up uh, as well here. So uh, look out for that. Bitcoin does break over that 74K region. Imagine coins like this to absolutely fly uh, for sure, right? And that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next update. The signals will start again next week. I've just been uh, super sick. I've got uh, whatever it is in your tonsil. Tonsillitis, is, that's it. Yes, tonsillitis. Uh, that's what I've got right now. Uh, and then we had flooding this week in Bangkok. It's been a pretty rough week for me, but uh, uh, overall, yeah, we're trying to keep the content out. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick that up again next week for you guys. All right, cheers. Have a fantastic day. Be sure to like the video. Cheers.